Welcome everyone to the third tutorial on Techotron 2 and Wave Glow. I am your host and guide, David Attenborough. Today, you will learn the importance of training your very own Wave Glow model. And as a treat, I have brought with me a special guest with a remarkable voice. Please welcome James Earl Jones. Greetings, David, and thank you for having me. I received your MySpace message when I had just finished the filming of Star Wars Episode 12, The Return of Mecha Vader, and I believe it is one of my greatest performances. I'll tell you a little secret about the upcoming film. James Cameron spent $300 million solely on the Jar Jar Binks and Chewbacca wedding on Tatooine. I've never seen so many wasted Wookiees and drunken Gungans. Anyhow, I am glad to be working with you today, David. Good day to you, James. Now let us begin. WaveGlow is a neural net model that takes the MEL spectrogram data from Techotron 2 and produces high-quality speech waveforms. WaveGlow acts as a vocoder, allowing only the correct frequencies of audio to pass through. So far, we have been using the pre-trained WaveGlow model from NVIDIA, which was trained on several voices. It does a fine job but we can produce a much higher quality voice by training our own model. Then we can eliminate high-pitched tones for male voices and boost their lower frequencies, making the speech deeper and richer. For example, listen to James using the pre-trained NVIDIA model. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. And now, here is James, with a custom wave glow model. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbarred. Like Takotron 2, we can train wave glow models on Google Colab or a PC with at least 8 gigabytes of memory. Let's talk about training on the PC first. Open a terminal and use git to clone the WaveGlow repository. Enter the text. Git submodel in it, as well as git submodel attate. If using multi-DPU, we will need to install Apex as well. We need to start our training using another checkpoint from a pre-trained model. Either download the NVIDIA pre-trained model here, or use the David or James models. Copy the models into your WaveGlow directory. Create a directory named Checkpoints, and inside, Another directory named Logs. Now we must create a new CSV file that contains only the wave file paths. There's no need to split the data into training and validation sets. Place the CSV file and the folder containing audio cuts into the wave glow directory. Our parameters will be set inside the config.json file. Change iterations for checkpoint to 200. Change checkpoint path to your model path. Set tensorboard to true. Training files will point to our new CSV file. Now set the batch size. This will be trial and error. I am using a batch size of 33 for a 48 GB video card. If there's a CUDA out-of-memory error, then reduce the value. Start the training process with this text. If using multi-GPU, then use this line instead. 
Start TensorBoard pointing to your log directory. Here we can see the loss value over time. Training losses with WaveGlow have a much greater range than Tacatron 2, so let's increase the smoothing rate. If average losses spike or go to NAN, you will need to revert back to a previous checkpoint. It is important to save periodic checkpoints and test them for quality. Even with low loss values, the model may have collapsed or become overtrained. If quality is degrading, revert back to a known good checkpoint. Now let's examine how to train our Wave Glow models using Google Colab. Colab is free, but you can also pay $10 a month for better GP runtimes. Yumi Bang Bang has shared an existing Colab notebook that we can use for our own purposes. Go to the link in the description of this video. We will also need to use a Google Drive account for our data. Compress your WAV file directory into a tar file and copy it to the root of your drive. Also copy your CSV file. For Colab to save checkpoints to our Google Drive, we need a modified train.python file. Download it from the link in the video description and copy it to the drive as well. Create a directory named Checkpoints. Place your pre-trained model here. The name of your pre-trained checkpoint must match the name in the Colab notebook. Run the first block of code. This will connect our runtime and determine what video card we have been given by Colab. The best card we can get for a free Colab account is the Tesla P100. If you get a Tesla K80, you will want to factory reset the runtime because they are slower than a tortoise digging through monkey dung. Run the code block again. Do this up to five times until you get a better GPU. Run the second block of code. This will install the WaveGlow repository and requirements. It is very important that you restart the runtime after it has finished. Uncomment these lines of code after your first save checkpoint and Colab will load your TensorBoard logs from your Google Drive. In the third block we must first set the batch size. A Tesla P100 can use a batch size of 10. If you receive a CUDA out of memory error, you must lower the value. We can also set the iterations per checkpoint. Change the training files to point to the new CSV file. Change the path to checkpoint to point to our pre-trained WaveGlow checkpoint file. Now run the third block of code. We will be asked to connect our Google Drive account. Select the account with your data, then copy and paste your sign-in code. The modified trained up on file will prevent saving a checkpoint if the loss is not below negative 5. The loss should eventually be in the range of negative 6 to 7. Both mine and David's models were trained to around 1 million iterations with a batch size of 10. The model is ready when you are satisfied with the results of inference. Well done James, we've really aced this tutorial. I think having a properly trained wave glow model will make our voices grander than a galloping gorilla. Smoother than a slippery snow goose and cleaner than an octopus with obsessive compulsive disorder. We will be stars, celebrities, gods among YouTubers. Ha 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 Now now, settle down David. I think you may be getting a little bit of the monkey fever. Perhaps. You should take a break from all those stinky orangutans and spend some quality time with me. Have you ever seen a real-life Ewok butler serving fish squeeze Jawa juice? It will tingle your tongue. That sounds like a grand time. Say, I'm getting a bit hungry, James. 
Let's go to Taco Bell and get some triple beef Dorito Crunch Wraps. David, that is a splendid idea. Become a Deeper Fakes member of Control Shift Aces Patreon and gain access to the Creator's Discord channel. There you can download the David Attenborough and James Earl Jones models. Check the description of this video for any links and updates. Please hit like and subscribe for future videos and tutorials. Thank you all for watching and have a jolly good day.